This is lesson 8.1. It's about inverse variation equations. By the end of this lesson, you should know the difference between an inverse variation equation and a direct variation equation. A direct variation equation is one that has the form y equals kx. And if you were to take this equation and solve it for k, you would find that k is equal to y divided by x. So um, you can have an equation in this form, which is what we're going to do here, or if you have a table of values, you can divide y by x, and if you always get the same answer for all values in the table when you divide y by x, then it's an in a direct variation equation. So here are three examples of direct variation equations, and if we were to graph them, um, each one would go through the origin and it would have a slope. The blue one has a slope of 2. The green one also passes through the origin and it has a slope of 1 half. And the red one passes through the origin but it has a negative slope. And so you can see the graphs all pass through the origin and they are straight lines. Direct variation equations have the form y equals k over x, and if you solve for k, you find that um, you can get the constant term by multiplying the x times the y values in a table, which we'll get to later. So here are three examples of inverse variation equations, and if we were to graph these equations, we would find that they pass through um, the point, the blue one passes through the point 1, 2, and 2, 1, and it has a curve that goes like this. And in the third quadrant, we have um, corresponding points, and it has a curve like so. The blue equation would pass through the point 1, 5, and also the point 5, 1. So it have a, has a similar curve. And in this other quadrant, it's going to pass through the points negative 1, negative 5, and negative 5, negative 1. So what you have here is two branches um, to the same equation. So even though you see two separate curves, it's, it's really one graph with two branches. And then the red equation here, being negative, will flip your graph um, across the x-axis, and you end up with your two curves being in the second and fourth quadrants, so this is what inverse variation equations look like. So for a direct variation, they always pass through the origin, but for an inverse variation equation, they never pass through the origin um, unless you have translations. And then you have asymptotes on the x and y as, um, axis. If we're looking at a table of values and we're trying to determine if it's a direct or an inverse relationship, we would use the second equation I showed you where they were solved for k. So for a direct variation equation, k can be found by dividing y by x. And if you check the whole table, and every y divided by its corresponding x value gives you the same answer, it's a direct variation equation. Otherwise, it's not. If it's not direct, then it could be inverse. And we would check for inverse variation by multiplying x times y. If the x times y value comes out to the same answer every time, then it's an inverse variation equation. So we will check this for each of these two charts. So first thing we'll do is we'll um, divide y by x and see what we get there. And then we will multiply y times x and see what we get there. For example, A, when I divided each of the pairs, y divided by x, you can see I got different answers each time, so it is definitely not a direct variation equation. So now I'm going to check for inverse. So when I multiplied y times x for each pair, I got the same answer each time. So that means this table of values represents an inverse variation equation. And this value 30 is k. So I could write the equation for this inverse variation equation, and it would be y equals 30 over x.
So let's try the same thing for example B. First thing we'll do is divide y by x for each pair in the table. And when I divided each pair, I got different answers each time. Since this did not come out the same, then this is not a direct variation equation. So now we will check to see if it's inverse by multiplying x times y. So 2 times 10 is 20, 4 times 8 is 32, 3 times 10 is 30, and 15 times 1.5 is 22.5. Since we did not get the same answer every time, this is not an inverse variation equation or a table to represent that. So this one would be neither. This is not direct variation and it's not inverse variation, so it's neither.